Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Jesse Vargas, what's going on, man? What's up, y'all? It's always a pleasure being on Dante's Boxing Nation. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? This clip I'm about to show you guys right now is probably one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen happen in the ring. Check out this clip and then I'll give you my thoughts. Good luck to both of you guys. It is a heavyweight matchup. I'm going to let you know when that man fights F.A. Ajagba, do not blink. Of his five professional bouts, four of them have been done in the first round. So he likes to bring an end to opponents in quick fashion. And Curtis Harper has walked out of the ring. Wait, what? I cannot believe this. I have this. never seen this before. He walked out, he of, walked the out of the ring. He's not fighting this he guy. He walked He's out of the fight. ring. I've never seen this before in my life. Wow. Curtis Harper has and walked the fans out here in of Minnesota the ring. Are, 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 are really upset right now. Well, that man right there, Curtis Harper, he just made infamous history in the sport of boxing. So as you guys just seen right there in the clip, Curtis Harper, he thought about it. As you guys see in the stare down, obviously he wasn't thinking about fighting. Now in hindsight, we know exactly what he was thinking about in this picture. He looking at this man saying, this man is about to knock my damn head off. He's about to knock my ass out, and it ain't even worth this check they didn't gave me. Boy, when you intimidating opponents like that, that says a whole lot about F.A. Ajaba. I mean, you know, the weird thing is we see fighters pull out after the weigh-in or before the weigh-in, but the biggest question is why would you walk into the ring, go through the whole process, the stare down, and then walk out? That's what I don't really understand. What this actually really reminds me of is one of my favorite movies, Digstown. Digstown is a movie about two con artists that placed a bet on a boxing match that starred Louis Gossip Jr. where he had to go up against 10 fighters, which were really just local bums in the neighborhood. But of course, there's always surprises in movies. And of course, Louis Gossip Jr., he had to end up facing some guys that were extremely tough. The reason why I say it reminds me of that movie is because one of the opponents that Louis Gossett Jr. had to fight, he did exactly what Curtis Harper just did against F.A. Ajaba. He walked up to the ring. Well, actually, he didn't do a stare down. He walked to the apron and he looked at Louis Gossett Jr. and then he just walked back to the dressing room. So this situation was very reminiscent of that. But the good news for Curtis is no matter what happens in his career now, he will always be remembered as the man that became infamous making history against F.A. Ajaba. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Yep. <laughs> you know, I, I really love all this Thai food, but baby, I want some American food right now. Do they have any American food out here? They have, my me? No have? My mean. They don't have no American food, but I want some American food. Baby. Let's find some American food, okay? Like Come on. We're going to find us some American food, okay? They have, you're supposed to say, you're supposed to say, you want KFC? Oh. You're supposed to say that. You're messing up my script. Ooh, swy. You see swy, girl? What about swy? Oh, my toilet. Deny. Deny, bye. Deny, bye. Deny. Deny. I was speaking Thai. Those of you guys who didn't know, your boy is versatile like that. We're looking for some American food today. Guys, we're looking for some American food today. I've been, I've been eating Thai food for three months. 
every once in a while I get some American food. I have some American food in um in Pania. But um but this is the province. We out here in the province right now. So it's hard to find American food. But we're about to find some right here on Dante's Cooking Nation. Eastside Thailand. Get it right. DCN. Yep. What's going on? This is your boy Dante and you watching Dante's Cooking Nation. Yep. Ooh, look at the cows, look at the cows, look at the cows. Look at the cows, cows. We're gonna go to KFC right now, y'all. Oh yeah, there goes KFC. We about to eat some American food. Have to shut up? I'm too loud? Okay, okay. We're going to whisper. I got to whisper. Because she don't want us to talk loud. So whisper. Shh. Okay. See, they talk loud. They don't whisper. They say, hey, see? We can talk loud. KFC. KFC. We here at KFC, y'all. Dante's Cooking Nation. We are out here in Isan, Thailand. And I finally found me some American food. American food. KFC, y'all. They have some, they actually have food out here that they don't have in America. I'm going to show you guys the food, okay? Savaiti okay. mine. What's going on guys? This was just a small clip and preview of the full video that you guys will be watching on Dante's Cooking Nation. The channel is coming soon. Catch up with you guys. Yep. What's going on? This is Dante and you watching Dante's Travel Nation. Yeah?